Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. At the doctor's office, Jimbo sat on the edge of the cold, sterile examination table. His palms were sweaty, and he kept fidgeting with the hem of his shirt. Dr. Indy Walker entered the room, a calm smile on her face. Her gaze held a warm twinkle, easing Jimbo's nerves slightly. Jimbo, she began, her voice smooth and comforting. Have you ever considered stepping out of your comfort zone? Experimenting with something new? Jimbo raised an eyebrow. He was here for a routine checkup. What was she talking about? I've been observing you for some time now, she continued. I sense a certain restlessness in you. I think you're looking for something more, something different. Jimbo felt his cheeks flush slightly at her insight. Well, he mumbled, I've always felt out of place somehow. Dr. Indy's eyes lit up at his confession. Then let's try something, she proposed. I have an idea that might help. She disappeared into a storage room adjacent to her office and emerged carrying a box filled with fabrics of different colors and textures. I used to be part of a theater group, she explained as she saw Jimbo's surprised expression. These are costumes from various plays. She pulled out a dress, a beautiful soft piece in a delicate shade of lavender. It had frilly sleeves and intricate lacework along the hem. How about trying this on? She suggested with an encouraging smile. Jimbo hesitated for a moment before giving her a small nod. With Dr. Indy's help, Jimbo slipped into the dress. It felt strange yet oddly comforting, like slipping into a warm bath after a long day. He looked down at himself and saw not Jimbo, but someone else. Someone softer, more delicate. Now for the final touch. Dr. Indy said as she brought out a long, chestnut-colored wig from the box. Once Jimbo put it on, he could hardly recognize himself in the mirror. His sharp features were softened by the feminine attire and hairstyle. He looked pretty. What do you think? Dr. Indy asked. Jimbo looked at his reflection, his heart pounding in his chest. The person staring back at him felt more real than Jimbo ever had. He felt a sense of calmness wash over him, like he'd finally found a missing piece of a puzzle. I think, he said slowly, I like this. Dr. Indy smiled warmly at Jimbo. I'm so glad. I could tell there was something special inside you, just waiting to emerge. She put a gentle hand on his shoulder. Why don't we go for a little walk outside? It's a lovely day, and I think some fresh air would do you good. Jimbo hesitated, anxiety creeping in. Like this, dressed like a girl? Dr. Indy gave his shoulder a reassuring squeeze. There's nothing to worry about. This is a judgment-free zone, remember? And besides, you look absolutely lovely. After another moment of hesitation, Jimbo nodded shyly. Dr. Indy opened the office door with a flourish. After you, miss. Jimbo couldn't help but grin at being addressed so politely. He stepped outside, squinting a little as the sunlight hit his face. It was a beautiful spring day, flowers blooming and birds chirping merrily in the trees surrounding the office building. Dr. Indy linked her arm through Jimbo's and they strolled down the sidewalk together. Jimbo felt oddly giddy, the skirt swishing around his legs a new but not unwelcome sensation. See, no one's giving you a second glance, Dr. Indy said warmly. I know this feels strange, but in time it will start to feel natural. You look perfectly lovely. Jimbo blushed at the compliment. As they walked and chatted lightly, he started to relax. Dr. Indy was right. No one was paying him any mind. In fact, he caught a few smiles from passersby. After a few blocks, they stopped at a cute little cafe. Dr. Indy ordered them both iced teas and they sat at a table outside. So, how are you feeling? Dr. Indy asked. Any thoughts you want to share? Jimbo took a sip of his tea, contemplating. I guess this just feels right somehow. Comfortable. I've always felt different, but could never put my finger on why. Dr. Indy nodded. 
Exploring your gender identity can be a journey, but I'm here to support you each step of the way. They continued chatting comfortably. For the first time in ages, Jimbo felt seen, like he could be his true self without judgment. After finishing their drinks, they headed back to the office. Jimbo changed back into his regular clothes, though he found himself missing the swish of the skirt. Dr. Indy told him to take some time to process his thoughts and feelings, and to call her any time. As Jimbo got in his car to drive home, his mind swirled with the day's events. He felt as if a door had cracked open, allowing slivers of light to filter through. There was more exploration to be done, but he no longer felt so alone. For the first time, he felt hope. Over the next few weeks, Jimbo found himself thinking often about that magical dress-up day. He started experimenting on his own at home, trying on some of his mom's outfits when she was out. He felt that same sense of rightness wash over him whenever he put on a skirt or blouse. Eventually, he worked up the nerve to talk to his mom. She was surprised at first, but quickly supportive, telling him she just wanted him to be happy. She took him shopping for some clothes of his own, Jimbo picked out a few pretty sundresses and skirts. After that, Jimbo started presenting as female more often at home. His mom helped him style his new shoulder-length hair and do subtle makeup. He even chose a new name, Jasmine. The first time Jasmine wore a dress out to the mall, her heart pounded with nervous excitement. But the world didn't end. In fact, she realized people didn't even give her a second look. She was just another girl, shopping and giggling with friends. It was wonderfully, beautifully normal. When she arrived for her next therapy appointment, Dr. Indy greeted her with a big smile. Jasmine, don't you look pretty as a picture? Jasmine beamed, giving a little twirl to show off her new floral print dress. I feel so much better, so free. This just feels right. Dr. Indy gave her a hug. You know, since you have been a patient for a while, why don't I give you a little makeover too? Get you a bit more feminized? Dr. Indy led Jasmine back into the examination room, which now looked more like a professional makeup studio. Have a seat right here, sweetie. Dr. Indy gestured to a plush chair in front of a large vanity lined with cosmetics and styling tools. Jasmine settled into the chair, tingling with excitement as Dr. Indy draped a soft cape over her shoulders. Now let's start with that pretty hair of yours, Dr. Indy said as she ran a brush through Jasmine's long locks. She sectioned pieces and began curling them into loose, bouncy waves with a curling iron. Jasmine watched in the mirror as her straight hair transformed into glamorous curls that framed her face. She already looked more feminine. Next, Dr. Indy did Jasmine's makeup, keeping it natural but enhancing her best features. She filled in and shaped Jasmine's brows, making them appear more arched and feminine. Lovely bone structure, Dr. Indy remarked as she lightly contoured Jasmine's cheekbones to make them pop. She dusted a warm pink blush onto the apples of Jasmine's cheeks, giving them a cute, flushed glow. With an expert hand, Dr. Indy lined Jasmine's eyes in a subtle cat eye, extended the corners with just a hint of winged liner, she coated her lashes in volumizing mascara, making her eyes appear wider and brighter. Gorgeous, Dr. Indy declared. She finished with a rosy pink lipstick, blotting it to a perfect matte stain. Jasmine was stunned at her reflection. The makeup was understated, yet so transformative. She looked undoubtedly feminine, soft and sweet. What do you think? Dr. Indy asked. I, I look so pretty. Jasmine said, tears welling up in her eyes. After years of discomfort in her own skin, she finally recognized herself in the mirror. Dr. Indy squeezed her shoulder warmly. You were always pretty, my dear. Now it shines through for the whole world to see. She carefully removed the cape and had Jasmine stand. Just a couple finishing touches. First, she helped Jasmine into a pair of stockings and dainty-heeled shoes, showing her how to walk gracefully in them. Jasmine wobbled at first, but soon got the hang of it, feeling elegant and poised. Dr. Indy also gifted her a new outfit, 
A darling retro style dress with a full skirt and button up bodice in a black print along with little white gloves. Go ahead and change into this while I step out, she told Jasmine. I want to get the full effect for the big reveal. Jasmine slipped into the outfit, her heart fluttering wildly. She felt as if she was getting ready for prom. When she emerged, Dr. Indy clapped her hands together in delight. Oh, honey, you look absolutely beautiful. Jasmine did a little spin, the skirt of the dress twirling out. She felt like a princess. Thank you so much, Dr. Indy, Jasmine said. I can't even describe how happy I feel right now. Dr. Indy gave her a big hug. I'm so proud of you for having the courage to embrace your true self. The world is brighter with you in it as Jasmine. She led Jasmine over to a full-length mirror. Jasmine gasped when she saw her reflection, the dress accentuating her petite curves, the makeup enhancing her delicate features. She really did look and feel beautiful. Are you ready for another walk? Dr. Indy asked. Jasmine took a deep breath and nodded. Arm in arm, they headed out of the office to embark on Jasmine's first outing as her true feminine self. Jasmine clung tightly to Dr. Indy's arm as they walked onto the busy downtown sidewalk. Her knees wobbled in the unfamiliar heels and she felt incredibly self-conscious. Sensing Jasmine's nerves, Dr. Indy gave her hand a reassuring squeeze. Stand up straight, chin up, she instructed. Exude grace and confidence. Jasmine focused on keeping her posture upright, shoulders back and steps smooth despite the wobbly heels. To her surprise, people they passed didn't gawk or sneer. Most smiled warmly or paid her no mind at all. See, you're doing wonderfully, Dr. Indy said. Just be yourself. They strolled through the cute boutiques and cafes, chatting lightly. Jasmine found herself relaxing bit by bit, enchanted by the swish of her skirt and the click of her heels on the sidewalk. When they stopped for lunch at a cafe, the handsome young waiter addressed Jasmine as ma'am and pulled out her chair for her. I could get used to this kind of treatment, Jasmine said with a giggle after he walked away. As you should, Dr. Indy replied. You're just as much of a lady as anyone else here. After lunch, they visited the makeup counter at a department store for a mini lesson. The consultant showed Jasmine how to apply her new cosmetics and pick flattering shades, Jasmine soaked up the tips eagerly, wanting to perfect her new feminine skills. As the afternoon went on, Jasmine grew more comfortable interacting with others as her true self. Each smile or polite greeting from a stranger affirmed that she belonged. When at last they returned to the office, Jasmine's feet were sore, but her heart was full. Thank you again for everything, she said, hugging Dr. Indy tightly. I feel beautiful, confident, and so very me. It was my pleasure. I'm delighted to see you embracing your womanhood, Dr. Indy replied warmly. Jasmine left the office that evening practically floating on air. She couldn't wait to show her mom the makeover and new dress. This was just the beginning of living life as her most genuine self, as Jasmine. The possibilities seemed endless. Over the next several weeks, Jasmine fully settled into her new identity as a woman. She wore skirts and dresses daily, did her makeup lightly each morning, and continued experimenting with more feminine hairstyles. Her closet filled up with new stylish pieces picked out on shopping trips with her mom and friends. Jasmine also adopted more ladylike habits. She practiced speaking in a soft, higher pitch and walking gracefully. At restaurants, she would wait patiently for men to pull out her chair or open doors for her, and she took care to sit with poise, keeping her knees together and back straight. Initially, these things felt unnatural. But the more Jasmine immersed herself in womanhood, the more instinctive the behaviors became. Before long, she couldn't imagine going back to jeans, short hair, and a deep voice. Jasmine nervously smoothed her skirt as she sat at an outdoor cafe, sipping an iced coffee. She was dressed in a flattering floral sundress and small denim jacket. Her long hair curled softly around her shoulders. 
Though she had been publicly presenting as female for a few months now, she still felt occasional butterflies when out and about as her true self. But each day, she grew more confident. As Jasmine people watched, a cute guy about her age caught her eye. He had tousled brown hair and sharp yet kind features. He was sitting a few tables away, intently typing on a laptop. Jasmine found herself sneaking glances at him, admiring his strong forearms as he typed, and the way he would occasionally run his hand through his wavy hair in thought. She was debating whether to casually get up and walk past him for a closer look when suddenly he closed his laptop, stood up, and started heading in her direction. Jasmine quickly averted her gaze, fiddling with her coffee cup. Her heart did a little flip when he stopped right beside her table. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to bother you, he said, an endearing half-smile on his face. This is a bit forward, but I just had to come over and say hi. I'm Ash. He extended his hand, and Jasmine shook it, hoping her palm wasn't terribly clammy. I'm Jasmine. It's nice to meet you. You as well, Ash replied. His hazel eyes were warm and friendly. Again, I apologize for intruding, but you caught my eye, and I figured I'd take a chance and introduce myself. Jasmine giggled softly, unable to hide her smile. That's very sweet of you. I'm glad you did. Ash gestured to the empty chair at her table. Would you mind if I joined you for a few minutes? I'd love to chat more if you have time. I'd like that, Jasmine said, heart fluttering as he took a seat. She subtly checked her reflection in her phone screen, making sure her makeup was intact. So Jasmine, are you from around here? Ash asked. They fell into easy conversation, exchanging details about where they grew up and their interests. Jasmine was captivated by how genuinely Ash listened, asking thoughtful follow-up questions and maintaining eye contact. After about 20 minutes, Ash glanced at his watch. Well, unfortunately, I have to get going, but I'd really love to see you again, if you're open to that. He looked at her hopefully, and Jasmine couldn't suppress an excited grin. I'd really like that too. They exchanged numbers, both blushing and smiling. Don't be a stranger, Ash said with a wink as he stood up. It was so lovely meeting you, Jasmine. You truly made my day. He leaned down and kissed her hand before turning to go, looking back over his shoulder with one last grin. Jasmine sat there for a few minutes after he left, unable to wipe the giddy smile off her face. Her heart was still doing little somersaults. She couldn't believe the cute guy had not only approached her, but asked to see her again. She practically floated back to her car, feeling prettier and more confident than ever. That weekend, Jasmine took extra care getting ready for her date with Ash. She styled her long hair in glamorous old Hollywood curls and did her makeup just so. Cat eyes with a perfect winged liner and matte rose lipstick. She decided on an elegant black wrap dress that accentuated her petite curves along with strappy heels. Spritzing herself with perfume, she assessed her reflection and was thrilled with how feminine and put together she looked, like a 1950s starlet. When Ash picked her up, he gazed at her admiringly. You look absolutely stunning, he said, kissing her hand. Why, thank you, kind sir. Jasmine replied with an exaggerated Southern Belle accent, fanning herself coquettishly. Ash laughed. And your charm is equally stunning, he said with a wink, offering his arm to escort her to his car. Always the gentleman. He took her to a romantic restaurant, pulling out her chair and ordering a nice bottle of wine. Jasmine practically melted under his attentive gaze, she could really get used to this princess treatment. Over delectable pasta dishes, they opened up more about their lives and ambitions. Jasmine found Ash so easy to talk to, like they'd known each other for ages. She was thoroughly smitten. After dinner, they went for a stroll through a nearby park. Ash tentatively reached for her hand, interlacing their fingers. Jasmine's heart raced at the contact, and she gently squeezed his hand back. Under the moonlight, he turned and tenderly brushed a stray curl from her face. Have I mentioned how beautiful you look tonight? 
he murmured. Jasmine's knees nearly buckled. Jasmine gazed up at Ash, her heart fluttering. As he leaned in, she closed her eyes and their lips met in a soft, sweet kiss. Jasmine practically floated back to her apartment after the date, replaying each wonderful moment in her mind. She carefully removed her makeup and changed into comfy pajamas before collapsing onto her bed with a dreamy sigh. As she lay there, Jasmine thought back over the incredible journey that had led her to this moment. Just a few months ago, she had been Jim, an unhappy, lonely young man. It was Dr. Indy who had helped crack open that door to self-discovery. She thought back to that magical first day trying on dresses in Dr. Indy's office, though it felt strange at the time, wearing a skirt just felt right somehow. Jasmine realized then that this was who she truly was. Dr. Indy had provided a safe space for her to explore femininity at her own pace. Their little outings helped Jasmine grow comfortable presenting as female in public. And the thoughtful makeover was the final push Jasmine needed to fully immerse herself in womanhood. Sitting in that chair as Dr. Indy transformed her look was an almost spiritual experience. Jasmine smiled, remembering the utter joy and liberation she felt seeing her beautiful, feminine reflection for the first time. It was as if she was seeing her true self clearly for the very first time. She was so grateful to Dr. Indy for helping unveil the woman she was meant to be all along. If not for her guidance, Jasmine may have suppressed her identity for a lifetime, living a hollow half-life. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.